Today on Novel vs. Adaptation, we're looking at Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, unlike the first two film adaptations, this one takes a lot of departures from the novels. Um, a lot of plot points were either changed, um, not mentioned, or uh, simply not explained in the movie. Um, one of the main uh, plot points that they did not explain or didn't bring up in the movie um, was a storyline that followed uh, Harry's father and his friends at Hogwarts. James um, Potter and Sirius Black were two of the smartest wizards in Hogwarts. Um, they had two other friends in their group, uh, Remus Lupin and Peter Pettigrew. Um, Remus was a werewolf. When he was younger, he was bit by a werewolf. Um, this was probably, he was at least younger than 10 because, you know, by 11 is when you start Hogwarts and he was already a werewolf by the time he started Hogwarts. Um, the only people who knew he was a werewolf at Hogwarts was uh, Professor Dumbledore and Madame Pomfrey, the nurse, uh, the school nurse. Um, they actually planted the Whopping Willow for Remus. They put it over a passage, a uh, secret passage that led out of Hogwarts into Hogmeade up into the Shrieking Shack. Um, so it could, you know, cover up a place, you know, Remus's uh, hiding place. It's where he went each month to turn into a werewolf. The shrieks that people heard um, from, you know, from the village that people heard were not from ghosts. It was Remus turning into a werewolf. They did this so they could protect him, protect the students, and he could continue going to school. Well, James and Sirius, being so smart, eventually figured it out. And they decided, you know, since they were such good friends with Remus, uh, instead of having him go through this change and go through that time alone, they were going to make that potion to become anim animagi? Animagus? Animagi? I don't know how to pronounce that, but animagi. Um, so they can be with him through this change because animal, other animals can hang with the werewolf, but humans can't. He would automatically attack them. So it took them a couple of years, but by their fifth year, they came up with a potion that turned um, James into a stag, uh, Sirius into a dog, and Peter Pettigrew into a rat. If you remember in the movie, uh, Harry's Patronus was a stag, you know, like his father. Um, Harry also came into possession of the Marauder's Map, which was written by Mooney, Wormtail, um, Padfoot, and Twan which were uh, Remus, Peter, uh, Sirius, and James, respectively. Those were, that was their nicknames, you know, based on their animagi uh, forms. Um, when, uh, when once they became animagi and they were going around, you know, with Remus when he was a werewolf, they decided that to sneak out and roam the grounds and go around Hogwarts and go around, you know, go everywhere they could. Um, they felt like it was safe for them to do that because James and Sirius were these big animals and they thought they were strong enough to uh, control Remus. So since they went everywhere under the cover of darkness without anyone knowing, they knew Hogwarts better than anyone else and they created the Marauder's Map. Um, this is why this is how uh, Remus was able to know exactly what um, Harry had when he saw the map and he knew how to work it because he wrote it. Did he mention that? No. Besides leaving out how Harry's father directly influenced the plot of the story, uh, the movie also left out Ron and Hermione's almost book-long feud. Um, Hermione bought her cat Crookshanks um, from this magic pet store after it uh, tried to attack Ron's um, pet rat, Scabbers. Now we know Scabbers is Peter Pettigrew, um, but f throughout the book, you know, when you first read it, you had no idea. And the fact that she kept getting mad at Ron when he insisted on protecting his pet from her murderous cat just was, <laughs> just seemed completely irrational to me. There's another major change uh, to the plot. Um, in the movie, Harry's uh, broom is uh, destroyed in the very first Quidditch match. And he gets, he doesn't get a replacement until the end of the movie when Sirius sends him the firebolt. But in the book, he gets the firebolt right away. And it's before we know that um, Sirius is innocent. Um, 
Hermione, the ever insufferable know-it-all and tattletale, goes and tells McGonagall about the firebolt. Now Harry has no idea who, where he gets it from. And McGonagall comes and takes his firebolt away. Um, this is just one more thing that led to, you know, another reason for Ron not to like Hermione and now Harry hated her too. And frankly, so did I. So which one do I prefer? Uh, the book or the adaptation? This one is a hard one for me because this book is my favorite book in the Harry Potter series, um, yet a lot of the changes in the movie I liked better um, than how they appear in the book. Uh, it changed the flow of the story and it also gave it a much darker tone than the first two adaptations, which I think is appropriate for a story connected to so many murders. Um, so I'm going to have to say that I like the movie better than the book. I wish that they were able to, the movie had included all of the story on Harry's father, but with it coming in at 2 hours and 20 minutes, there just wasn't enough room for it. Which do you prefer? The novel or the adaptation? Let me know in the comments. Also, um, let me know if there are some other movies or TV, uh, TVs based off of books that you would like me to compare to the original novel. Um, let me know those in the comments. And remember, sharing is caring. Share this video with all of your friends and enemies. Gotta go. See you when I see ya.